Okay. Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all. Uh, first of all, thank you so much uh, to join me today. Uh, I have to mute because uh, it's quite um, disturbing me. Okay, to to talk and to have lecture to you this morning. Okay, so, so the last class, uh, if you still remember, I stop actually uh, at the next slide. Okay, this slide, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, uh, but I will recap back on the part of uh, 10 slide because uh, we will go through about uh, what is uh, the opportunity. Okay. So as you can see from here, okay, maybe it's too small, right? Ah, okay. Okay, as you can see from here, uh, this is, um, I will continue back uh, the previous slide that I stopped by and on our uh, previous class. Okay, uh, we're talking about the opportunity, okay? So what is opportunity? Okay, opportunity is a situation where a new product or services or processes can be introduced and sold at the greater, at the greater than a list of its cost production. So meaning to say in here, when we have uh, the opportunity to to create the products, of course, we want to make sure that uh, the product that can be marketed, okay, that can be sell. So how the product can be marketed and how the product can be sell, number one is through the cost itself, okay. We have to calculate on the uh, original cost, okay, the raw cost that occupy to the products. And then uh, that is the most important thing is to make sure that uh, the product can be marketed by having the selling cost, okay? From the selling cost, we can actually set up how much the marginal cost that we want. Let's say I give the previous example, like I want to sell at a uh, hair scarf, tudung, right? Uh, this price, maybe your raw cost is 20 ringgit, but I want to sell it 30 ringgit. So at least I can get the 10 ringgit for my profits. Uh, so that is actually the greater that I can gain and also I can earn from the sole, uh, sole of the products, okay? All right, and then I'm moving on to the resources. As you can see from here, there are few of uh, the resources that have a financial physical, human, technological, social, and organization, organizational. And I told you before, when all after all these resources, the most important thing is the financial. I didn't say that the rest is not important because after all, in order to occupy those the physical, uh, physical evidence, meaning the product itself, the human level, to have the technological, to have the social, to have the organizational, we need a financial part. We need the financial support on that, okay? So, for example, for the financial, they have many, actually, the assistance that we can earn and we can gain. For example, number one, in terms of the entrepreneur itself, okay, from their saving, okay? And the second one, in terms of the grant, okay? Or maybe any assistance from the government or any uh, agencies that involved in the entrepreneur that we get some helps and then they can give the financial support on that and maybe the third one we can get loan from uh, uh, financial institution for example like banking sector okay so i believe that when we're talking about this uh, financial part itself uh, this is the main instrument uh, of the resources in order to make sure that the entrepreneur able to embark, okay, the, the process of the business itself. And the second one, when we're talking about the physical evidence or the physical resources itself, uh, we have to make sure as the entrepreneur, the physical is easily accessible, okay. Accessible in here, we easily achievable of this product resources and easily to get. Uh, and at the reasonable price, of course, because 
we want to take this product in the long time. We want to run the business in the long time. So, of course, we need the physical resources at a reasonable cost and at the lower cost, if possible, to make sure that we can offer it to our customer in in a better way and in the reasonable price too, okay? And then uh, the human, okay? When we're talking about the human itself, we are talking about the process of the human labor, okay? We want our staff. We want to recruit the staff. We want to employ the staff that able to run our business. And at the same time, this also the key indicator, the key important thing because we want to make sure this human labor, okay, and uh, especially the staff, it helps and assist us too okay uh, of course somehow the certain business the entrepreneur can do it alone but at the same time if let's say your business is is grow up okay your business is developed you cannot do it alone you can have like your assistant in order to help you on this so that's why we have to recruit the human level okay and for the fourth factor is about technological we're talking about what is the machinery, what is the business tools that we need in order to increase our productivity. So the resources, uh, back to back, is uh, the, we need the capital. We need the financial part, right, in order to buy this technological assistance to help us to boost the productivity and the performance of the company itself. And about the social itself, uh, I realize this social is more on the connection and the network how the business as the entrepreneur you able to spread your network your social to the outsider okay so that's why we need the resources in order to expand our business and the last one organizational whereby we have the multiple of the connections from the organizational itself whether it's a government organization or organizational body or maybe it might be uh, from the another part of the uh, organizational so uh, it can be government or non-government bodies uh, to help us uh, especially in in to how to say that to make sure that we have the fully existed in terms of the training in terms of the financial part in terms of uh, support system so this is the most important all right, so I continue on the part of the organization. Okay, so as we mentioned before, the organization, we can have like the government or non-government base, right? So in here, they said entrepreneurship can take place in the diverse environment whereby they start with new independent startups. Okay, this is uh, so-called as the sole proprietorship. Okay, meaning to say there is the one owner and the owner is the 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 owner and the business is belong to one person okay one entity so uh yeah it's a good as the new startups we start with alone but somehow when we are able to grow up and then we have the partnership and then after partnership we have the corporation uh? all right and then the second one we have the corporate ventures corporate ventures will be i'm so sorry yeah i have to mute because uh, yeah, it's disturbing. Okay, all right. So corporate ventures uh, is mostly like um, the company that do something like uh, venturing between one entity and entity and mostly they have the same industry. Uh, why we need this corporate ventures? Because number one, somehow this another corporate ventures, okay, the another ventures company, they already prominent name in the industry. So when we as the new entrance company, entering the industry and then we do some of the corporate wages with this prominent name company we able to move faster okay we able to have move forward and then we don't have take so much time in order to to become familiar and to be uh, prominent to the customer uh, so the customer can easily uh, detectable and asset and the customer able to know us okay better from the our corporate ventures and then the third one we have the franchises so the good things about the franchises is uh, franchise able to have a because of the strong brand name okay and number two in terms of the risk they have a a very low risk compared when you are start with your sole proprietorship or partnership when you you have your own entrance okay because that one you are able to bear with the high risk on that but for the franchise 
because you are working with the franchisor. Okay, remember in the franchise, they have franchisor, they have the franchisee. So the franchisee will pay the royalty to the franchisor. So as the new franchisee, you don't have to so much struggle work in order to set up your company because everything been trained by the franchisor. Number one, the trademark, the brand name, everything, the uh, the equipment, uh, the product itself is already there. And mostly the franchises name, they already been prominent to the customer. The customer already know the brand name. So they wouldn't so much trouble on in terms of to do the marketing, but we still do marketing, but we don't have struggle hard as compared to the new entrance company like sole proprietorship and also partnership. All right. And for the joint venture, as I told just now, when we do able to do the corporate ventures, after all, we also can do the joint ventures. Joint ventures meaning to say both of you already long away in this industry, the key player. So when you able to have the, this uh, combination of the two entity to become one, I remember a long time ago when uh, what we call the name is uh, sorry, yeah. Mm. Sony Ericsson, yeah, before this, Sony and Ericsson. Sony is actually one entity, Ericsson is one entity. When they do the joint venture, Sony and Ericsson, they combine both technological experts, okay? And in terms of the innovation, they also do some multi-sharing in terms of their innovator and then their staff able to do some exchanging idea and become better. The reason why they do have to do the joint venture because Ericsson is having the financial constraint on time. I remember during that time is around 2011 and I can say that it's still tremendous on the ASEAN fi uh, financial, not ASEAN, it's actually world uh, financial crisis. So that's the reason they have to do the joint venture in order to make sure that uh, both company can be stable. And nowadays, um, uh, I might say that they already separated because Ericsson is already stable with their financial constraint and also uh, Sony is uh, all along the way with their own. Huh? All right. And the business accusation, this has happened, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Tesco, okay, will be one day will be accusation by uh, one company from Thailand. Uh, I don't remember the name, but it start with O or something like, it's not... Uh, it's uh, Lotus. Huh? Lotus. Ah, thank you. Yeah, it's Lotus. Thank you. Thank you. Lotus Company. I just remember the O. Oh, okay. The Lotus Company. So, the reason why, because Tesco cannot survive, uh, even though when we see as the eye of the customer, right, we see like, uh, yeah, Tesco still have the customer, but in the financial part itself, they are not stable. They cannot survive. Uh, the CEO of the Tesco said they cannot stay and survive in Malaysia, so they have to make uh, some of a, a quick decision by having this lotus to buy from them. Uh, and this is the same happened before, if you still remember long time ago, 2014, uh, when uh, Big Aeon, okay, is actually accusing uh, accusations of um, what we call a kafu. I do not know how to pronounce it well, but I call it kafu, but someone called it kafu, uh, K4. Uh, uh, that is also happened before. And before that, and I, I, I recently uh, see from my observation, my opinion, majority uh, uh, Europe, uh, Euro European uh, retailer, uh, which means the Western country retailer cannot survive uh, so long in this uh, Malaysia. Okay. Uh, if you ask me why the reason, good morning, Clement. Okay. The reason why, because... Um, because of that, uh, maybe there is a uh, lots of the issues, okay, the culture itself also. And of course, I believe that one of the, the most uh, important of the the main factor is about the pandemic. Not only just talking about the school, uh, but numerous of uh, the company in the world. Uh, don't be surprised, okay, they have a lots of the 
prominent name okay uh, they might say no more their brick and mortar store everything been changed into the online stores huh? right good morning uh, Obo uh, good morning Clement and good morning to all yeah I already start 10 30 just now okay so uh, it's okay I, I, I'm fine because I know that the internet somehow right uh, it's very difficult something you have to in and out because of the internet stability okay I also sometimes like that huh? so uh, don't expect so much. Sometimes uh, I do live lecture. Sometimes I will do record the version. Okay. All right. And then uh, I'm moving on to the next one. Okay. So for the environment, we have the community levels. Okay. So meaning to say who is the community level? Us. Okay. You and me and the rest of the nations and the populations of the world. So uh, we are the one who actually the prospect, okay, buyer and also seller that have in the entrepreneurship cycle environment. Uh, and then the population that the density numbers of organization in an industry i believe after this pandemic not after but currently in this pandemic covid 19 a lot of the brick and mortar store have to be changed uh, towards and transformed into these online stores and we have to survive because the economy has to be ongoing so uh, that's the reason the number of organization in online stores online uh, base is still mushrooming uh? and then the strength of the relationship between this organization i believe there is a platform that uh, we cannot deniable like uh, lazada we have shopee right we have alibaba we have muda.com we have amazon.com around the world they have uh, lots of the uh, online stores and platform in order you to to expand your business uh, people say what uh, to be big, to be large, it start from small. Then even though you say that you are online business, it's a small business, don't worry because what we expect is a return on investment. Every time, whatever that you start with the business, there must be a return. Okay, it start with one dollar and then it become multiple dollar and billion dollar. Okay, All right. And then we're moving to the societal in levels. We have the cultural norms and value. Okay, I believe every single of the country they used to have a different way on how they want to have uh, their cultural norms. Okay, and um. Some uh, certain country, I, I realized after uh, this pandemic, okay, during this pandemic, uh, the store is start to be open at usual, okay, but uh, closed at earlier than expected. And certain of uh, something grocery stores, maybe 24 hours, they have to be changed their operation time into like a uh, little bit earlier to close, right? Uh, that's the reason because... Because this pandemic, uh, even restaurant is only just up to 10 p.m. But I realize certain of location, maybe my location is quite like hot spot location, right? But at 10 p.m. everything will be like quiet. But uh, some of the some uh, area at 10 p.m. is just still but like nothing happened because in here police always do some checking. You know, go to the stall if you're not still or uh, you still open and you're not. Uh, close at that 10 p.m. They ask you to to close at that time. Okay, so uh, maybe uh, we should uh, keep on concern that uh, the pandemic, the COVID-19 is still here with us. Okay, until that, even though some said because of the vaccine, we don't worry so much, but we right now, we, I and you, we still not get this vaccine, okay? Only the frontline at the first stage is now have, having their, their vaccine, okay? So that's the reason we have to make sure that we take care of ourselves, right? Okay, and then in terms of the, uh, that is in terms of the cultural norms and the value, but I believe that in terms of the value itself, when we are doing in this community business, okay, in uh the different country and as well right so we have to respect okay some certain country uh like saudi example they have to open and close at during prayer okay uh, uh maybe like uh subo time they not uh, open yet and after subo they will open their yeah, morning a uh, morning uh they will open up they are closed and then at zohor time it's uh during afternoon they will close again for the uh, to respect the prayer and then they open up to that uh, so that is the cultural norm and value but compared to the another country there be no uh, such things okay because uh for them they you can open up and then you can ask your your staff okay uh, your employees to take 
turn to to go for praying okay so it depends on how they handle their cultural norms and values okay and for the government activities and policies i believe during this covid 19 is quite a tremendous okay because why uh the government have to be very um careful okay in every single of the standard of procedure sop been given to the citizen to make sure that they are following it and obey to the rules okay because uh we keep on hearing the words SOP, 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 right? So this is about policy and procedures that we have to go through with uh, during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic that quite challenging to us. Huh? And I believe there are struggle for that. And we as the citizen, we have to respect. And yeah, um, I believe some citizen, they cannot bear, we need to work, right? Some, maybe they have lost their work, lost their job due to the, this pandemic. But at the same time, cannot cross or across the, the certain boundaries or state, right? So we have to get the police uh, letter and so forth. So this is the thing we have to, to do, okay, during this time. And after all, um, the best thing is stay at home, okay? But... Yeah, life must go on. Uh, life must goes on. So we have to to stay with the rules at the same time. Huh? All right. So we're moving on to the process of new venture creations. Okay. Not all individuals have the potential to launch a business venture. This is true. And I I quite the uh, agreed with this statement because uh, everybody when we're talking about entrepreneurs. Uh, maybe they have the financial part but they are not capable and they are not very competent to do the business so we have to respect that maybe they have to find out some someone their expertise in this kind of the business in doing business type of business and then maybe you can get some idea from them okay maybe you can get some mentor and mentee experiences and network through that we can actually pursue our business venture of those that do not all will attempt a founding uh, they say in here of those who attempt not all will succeed in founding uh, so this is something like poem right okay so it's not easy we start maybe can in order to hold and in order to sustain is very difficult okay so i believe that this is all about sustainable okay because uh when talking about starting business everybody maybe can yes okay can say yes right we have the money start the business but when come to the money okay when we want to hold the business itself for the long time it might be have the problem okay and then we're moving on to the next one uh, i should enlarge a little bit right okay so as you can see from here this is the process of new venture creations is something like a diagram that being created in here Okay, this is actually derived from our textbook. Huh? Uh, so, it's come from the environment that we discussing just now. They have the community, political, economic and sociocultural. And then it's interrelated with these uh, individual factors whereby as individual, we must be alertness. Uh, alertness in here, we must be conscious in the business. Okay uh what business that we want to do what we want to plan okay and number two knowledgeable is a very necessary uh unnecessary if uh unnecessary yes it might be uh loose okay if you have the capital if you have the financial support but if you don't have the knowledge in what area in what business that you want to do is something loose there something gap and loop huh? and then number three is about social network this is a very important because in order to do the business we need some of the support of the network okay in order to expand and penetrate your business uh, it's not easy easy to say it, but in order to getting the the business network we have to become socialized huh? and number four we have to be aspiration okay aspiration in here meaning to say inspires uh, some idea people who are 
successful in the industry that you want to go through and get some help okay something like uh, getting some idea from them okay and advice all right so this is how we want to recognitions of the opportunities huh? and then the second phase we go to the evaluations of opportunity and you can see the words in here attention okay meaning to see what is the purpose what is the reason you do the business number one concentrate steps to evaluate and shape the opportunity what you should do number one is a market research okay after all how big are your business how big your business you mean number one we have to do the market research we have to do tabayun we have to investigate whether the business that we done is solely trending or maybe is uh, have a demand out there okay and number two we have to get the resources whether it's raw resources whether it's physical resources whatever it is we have to get the resources what the best can offer to us and of course the last one as the entrepreneur you have to plan your business will come out with the business plan okay all right and then we, we do have the decision in here okay you can see that after they come out with uh, the attention and then they have decision and you can see that if the triggers is more than barriers okay uh the decision is found okay but if let's say the triggers is lesser than barriers meaning the barriers is bigger than the triggers you have to abandon uh, the decision okay so meaning to say you have to come out with the difference of uh decision huh? all right and then we're moving to the next one okay what is this the role of entrepreneurship in economic growth uh, and development okay at a macro level entrepreneurship is the process of creative disruption cupenter uh, i believe when you take subject entrepreneurship and new venture creation this is already been touched okay what is a uh, creative disruption by stupenter according to stupenter said when we want to create something we think something out of the box okay let's say i give a very simple example okay um uh, nowadays uh we are popular with something like um uh, uh, can uh drink box drink like this right and i realized that majority of the producer and supplier when they do this kind of uh, box drink okay uh they used to have like a uh, plastic okay they use that the plastic and then uh somehow sometimes they have straw and the straw also is uh, made from plastic okay whereby now the issue is about the concerns of the environmental no straw but milo okay is the first one who create um what we call uh box strings okay by having the straw pepper straw okay so inside that after you drink you can slide into the straw inside that and then you can make it like squeeze it and then you can make it like a pepper and then you can recycle so do with this ikea uh box string i might suggest it to ikea maybe this bio base cap maybe you can change it into like using like a box okay and then maybe yeah uh, you can make it something different on a part of this okay uh, so this is a good idea to make something like the process of something creativity to to become in other way around uh, rather than the normal one and the second one this refers to the summons uh, simultaneously disruptive and constructive consequences of entrepreneurship as i mentioned to you before in the previous our lecture right uh, when we create the workstation for online online working online study right uh, we can do some compartment that the table joining with the chairs and then we make it ergonomic uh, chairs ergonomics of a uh, table and then it can be slot uh, down inside here and it can become a table only and we can make a roller and then we can make it moving from one location to one location and maybe we can and just flip it and we can put in the car and it can become a portable of the workstation for online learning for online study online work and everything uh, see so this is the thing that when we create something 
we think out of the box how to make uh, as the life of human become easier and we think that this idea maybe is a different way okay and then creative destruction uh, is the process of some uh, simultaneous emergence and disappearance of technologies product and the firms in the marketplace as the result of the innovation so the things that i give example to you all just now is not just only innovation but it's something like we're talking about the technology okay and also the firm uh, can have some demand you can do some market research how many that people have demand towards this product i believe that not only the workers who are working uh, from home but the students who working uh working study from home so they need this products okay portable workstation for pandemic COVID-19 example right or maybe uh maybe we can take like what uh the the changes on how the delivery been done rather than we go to the uh, stores or the restaurant itself we have the delivery food that in front of your door right uh, and then however a good proportion of the creation is not destructive and satisfy new demand rather than displacing existing product or services of course somehow we cannot re replace everything uh, sometimes they need also the old one the traditional one but as the concern of entrepreneurship we want to create the new idea the demand that able to attract the people to make something that they go for innovative huh? all right now we're moving to the next one the relationship between entrepreneurship and economic growth the levels of the entrepreneurial activity is a function of the degree to which the people recognize the opportunities available and their capacity to exploit them uh, so i believe this is about how you want to make sure that every time you see something there is some opportunity you can gain from there okay student i have to tell you to inform you i do not know what happened this semester but i have two subject right degree subject and then both this subject is clashing with my diploma subject like today is uh thursday right tuesday and thursday i'm clashing with subject my diploma consumer behavior start at 11 30. your class starts at 30. imagine 10 30 until 11 30 only and then for the class uh, monday and wednesday i'm clashing with subject entrepreneurship new venture creation also like that that class 11 30 up to one but the, that class start 12 30 degree class start 12 30 so I, I have to end their class 11 30 up to 12 30 because class diploma every day uh, because they are short semester not like you all okay so i have to make it faster before 11 30 after i take your attendance huh? okay and i try my best to finish the syllabus as well because this subject we're gonna have a final test if i'm not mistaken huh? and at a broader level there is a relationship between national conditions and the performance of the established firms so in here there will be of course every single of the performance entrepreneurs when they're able to embark and they're able to penetrate to the country all over the world they're giving some gdp to the country gross domestic product so indirectly it's giving the something like growth rate uh, in terms of economic growth rate to the national conditions huh? all right and then this is how the measuring of entrepreneur activity uh, according to the country huh? i can see it here they have sweden's and then Netherlands, denmark italy finland france germany spain spain, uh, spain okay uh, switzerland uk Ireland, europe and then they do have south africa australia united states okay and then we have new zealand agro Saxon, okay they have quite increasing here and uh, in asia we have japan okay we have singapore hong kong china and india As you can see india has a very high percentage in here whereby in europe we have island and for in the anglo second we have the new zealand is the most highest in terms of measuring entrepreneurial activity being to say the country have the highest percentage and please apologize me for the all the audio natural audio like the birds out there is uh yeah they are there okay 
with you all in here in my class. Okay, so we're moving on to the next one. Okay, so this is uh, some of the how the role of the state, meaning to say in a kinds of, I think that this is giving more uh, indications on not only just state in Australia based, but they also they give like in the Singapore, okay, the promotions of entrepreneurship and SME. SME means small and medium enterprise, okay. So number one, we have a creation of conducive environment. I believe in Malaysia too, we're giving something like platform for those who in Panjana, okay, and I believe that uh, lately in here, uh, the government is giving something like uh, assistance in terms of money, okay, 1,000 in order to help them to have the uh, boost, okay, their motivation to do the business. And then we have state entrepreneurship in here. Uh, in Malaysia, we do also buy state, okay, you know, if it's in Selangor, Selangor, okay, they will give uh, in terms of Bantuan assistance for like uh, we have like Baitumal, okay, and then we have Mawib, they give something like example, uh, uh, food truck, and then you can actually use that food truck they provide by the state uh, assistant and then you can use to sell your product everywhere. Uh, and then we have ownership in here and also the regulation. Uh, this is in terms of uh, whether you are sole proprietorship, partnership or corporation based and for the regulation in here, certain of the rules and regulation whether under the Business uh, Act, okay, Business Registration Act 1956 is in Malaysia and then every single business whether it's online or brick and mortar stores, okay, you have to register with CCM, Companies Commissioner Malaysia, uh, okay. And uh, we moving on to the next one. Okay, as the summary or this is the last slide, okay. Uh, entrepreneurship is the process of people identifying new opportunities into marketable product or services. So this is indeed, okay. Um, entrepreneurship is whereby the process we are actually inviting, okay. Those, the potential individual to do uh, the best business. And then, of course, this process of the business is giving benefit to the community out there, especially to us and you, okay, you and me. At a macro level, entrepreneurs create new business ventures, jobs and wealth, of course. Uh, when you set up your business, you're giving some job opportunity for those who want to help you and you want people to assist you. And then at the same time, we also force out the marketplace, the enterprise, which fail to innovate. Uh, maybe we start from the failure state. Uh, failure stage and then we expand the business and we become bigger and bigger and then some key features of the Asia Pacific entrepreneurs uh, entrepreneurship so any question maybe uh, if maybe you cannot you feel like to us in here is very constrained so maybe you can just join down any question Any question at uh, any place, any place we need to say uh, in a group WhatsApp. Uh, okay, thank you for now. Uh, student, any question to ask? Okay, so before that, I want you to stay because I want to take attendance, okay, from uh, in uh, CMS in here. Uh, because I see from the CMS, uh, they do have like uh, some. Uh, your name in here, but I do not know because I see in our group they have many, many names compared to this in CMS. So, okay, I will call your name and then please uh, respond whether you are there together with me. Okay, so I call for Douglas. Douglas, are you there? Present? Yeah. Yeah, oh, Douglas is here. Okay, thank you. Lazarus? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Atika? Atika Sahal? I'm, I'm, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Okay, Gideon? Gideon? Yes, I'm here, madam. Okay, once okay. I call your, I call your name, name, you can, you can mute, your mute your audio. Your huh? audio huh? Okay. Okay. Nor Aziza. Aziza. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Ezevio Dixon. Dixon. 
Yes, I'm here, yes, present. I'm here present. All right. All right. Lazarus, 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 please don't mind, please. Amalime Victor. Amalime Victor. Is it present? No. Okay. Oko. Oko. No. Emi to present. Someone is open your mind. So I. Okay. Uh, Oko present. Okay. Emitter, emit to precious. Present or not? Emit to pre precious. No. Muhammad Kayum. Uh, yes. Yes, miss. Okay. Thank you. Philips. Etano Saint Philips. Nor Aisha? Yes, Miss. All right, thank you. Uh, Abby, Demi, Deli, Robert? Muhammad Faris, Hazman? Fariha? Fariha? Yes, Miss. All right. Muhammad Hafiz? Yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, Osagi Irida Precious. Osagi Iridia Precious. Macbu? Yes, I'm here. All right. All right. Ah, all right. All right. Okay. Uh, Uchena uh, Chinsley. Uchena yes, Chinsley. Okay, yes, thank you. All right. Lucky. Lucky? Chikibo Lucky. Ezen Kwagno. Chikibo Lucky. All right. He moves his uh, mic. Okay. All right. So for those maybe your name I'm not called upon to. I do not know but this is what been letters by academic ACAD in the CMS. So I hope that... Uh, Please, uh, maybe you can ask also Madam Suryanti why my name is not in the academic list in CMS. And at the same time, I have to cross-check with uh, FDL, the Moodle. If not, uh, there will be waste there, okay? Because supposedly you have to enter and log in into Moodle on that, okay? All right. So, thank you for... No, Madam. Madam. Madam, my name is in model. I could see the subject in model, Jennifer Kiki, but I don't know why my name is not here. Yeah. It, in, in CMS? Are you get CMS? No, it's not on CMS. It's not on CMS, but a model, and the subject is already registered a model for me. Even uh -huh. in my student center, I could see the subject. Okay, Jennifer, can you uh, 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 contact Madam Suryanti on that? Okay, I will. Okay, thank you. Huh? Student, I have to stop right now because, um, yeah, I have to get ready for my... Uh